Welcome back guys. Today we'll be doing function C sec question where we will be finding the inverse of a function, find the composite function, find the value of x given the y value and substituting the value of x to find out y. Let's get started. For this question, we are asked the function f is defined as f of x equal 2x plus 7 over 5. We need to find the value of f of 4 plus f of negative 4. Now the 4 it means that this is x and the negative 4 is also x. So what we're going to do is just to substitute x equal 4 and x equal negative 4 in the above function 2x plus 7 over 5 and then sum. So I'm going to substitute x equal 4 so I'm going to have 2 open bracket 4 plus 7 all over 5 and that represents f of 4 plus f of negative 4, seeing x equal negative 4, so I replace x with minus 4 plus 7 all over 5. Now to simplify, 2 4 is 8 plus 7, that's 15, and then I have my denominator which is 5. 2 times negative 4, negative 8, plus 7, that's negative 1 over 5. Now I could reduce the 15 over 5, but I'm going to leave the denominator as is. So just to add both positive times negative, that's negative. So 15 minus 1, that's 14 over 5. And that's it. The next question is asking us to find the value of x for which f of x equal 9. f of x means that this is the value of y. So what when y is 9, what is x? So replacing f of x to be 9, equated to be equal to 2x plus 7 all over 5. Now I'm going to cross multiply. To get rid of the fraction or in other words multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of the 5 in the denominator that cancel 5 minus 45 is equal to 2x plus 7 now my next step is to make x a subject so we will carry the positive 7 over the equal sign which is subtracting 7 on both sides so that is why we say there is a sign change. So we have 45 minus 7 equal 2x. 45 minus 7, that is 38, is equal to 2x. Then we will be dividing both sides by 2. So now we have our x value to be. 19. That's it. The next question is, hence or otherwise determine the value of f of 9. If you realize here it's not f of x equal 9, but f open bracket 9 close bracket. So whenever you have a number within the bracket, it means that's the x value. So x is 9. So all we're going to do is substitute into this 2 open bracket 9 plus 7 plus all over 5. 2 nines, that's 18 plus 7 all over 5. So 18 plus 7, that's 25 all over 5. So our answer is 5. And that's it. Now, the next example, we have f of x and f of g. And first, 
we need to state the value of x that cannot be in the domain of f. Now, f of x is a fraction, 9 over 2x plus 1. And uh, we're talking about the domain. The domain represents the x value and y represents the range. So they are focusing on what are the x values that can't work with this. So we have to think about when is it that the denominator is 0. So some persons are able to look at it and say, what value of x when I substitute, it will give me 0. So some persons are able to look at this and say it's negative a half. While others, you have to equate the denominator to be equal to 0, then solve. Now you don't have to do this method. You could have just looked at this and say, what value of x can I substitute here to make the denominator be 0? And persons are able to say negative a half because negative a half times 2 is negative 1 and negative 1 plus 1 gives us 0. But the next method, if you're unable to see this, is equated to be equal to 0 and make x the subject. So we'd carry the plus 1 over the equal sign, so it becomes negative 1. Then we divide both sides by 2, so x is equal to negative 1 half. So when I substitute negative 1 half, what's going to happen? Let me show you. So we're going to replace x to be negative 1 half just to show you that it cannot give us a y value. So substituting minus a half plus 1, 2 into 2 goes 1 time, so what is left? We have 9 over negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 9 over 0, and that cannot work, so that makes it the answer, which is x is equal to negative a half. Now the next example is asking us to write this in the composite form. We're substituting g into f, so where I have this x, I'm going to replace it with x minus 3. So I have 9 over 2 open bracket and replace the x with g, so we're going to have x minus 3. It's like if you have a number and you substitute the number where x is. But in this case, we're substituting the function. Now to simplify, so we expand. So I'll have 9 in the numerator, then 2 times x, that's 2x. 2 times negative 3, that's minus 6, plus 1. So all I did was distribute the 2, 2 times x, then 2 times negative 3. Now the only thing I can do is add minus 6. 6 plus 1, so we have 9 over 2x minus 5. And that's it. The final example is just finding the inverse of f of x function. So let me write the f of x function, which is equal to 9 over 2x plus 1. The first thing I'm going to do is change the f of x to y. It's the same thing as y. And after doing that, we are going to interchange. So we're going to interchange x for y and y for x. So this y becomes an x and the x becomes a y. So I'm going to have 2y plus 1. The next step is to make y the subject. So what I'm going to do is cross multiply. So I'm going to carry the 2y plus 1 on the left and the x below the 9 on the right. So I have 2y plus 1 is equal to 9 over x. Now we're going to carry the plus 1 over the equal sign. So there will be a ch sign change. So we have 2y equal 9 over x minus 1. We're almost finished. We are now going to divide both sides by 2. 
Now this cancel. So what we have is y is equal to, and now I'm going to simplify this part. So 9 over x minus 1. all over 2. Now we know it's the same thing as 9 over x minus 1 and then I'll have the division symbol then 2. So what we're gonna have is 9 over x minus 1 then we change division to multiplication and then we reciprocate it so it becomes a half or we flip it. That's what some person say. Now we're going to distribute the half. So multiply 9 times 1, that gives us 9. And x times 2, that gives 2x. Then minus 1 times a half, that's minus 2. Now I'm going to substitute it here, so we have 9 over 2x minus a half. That means our inverse function is 9 over 2x minus a half. And that's it. There you go. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you have more questions please leave a comment or if you want me to do something that is puzzling just leave a comment below.